My name is Jonathan Lopez. I'm uh, 28. I was born in West Covina, California, but uh, my family moved here when I was a baby, so I was raised entirely in Cal uh, Fresno, uh, California. Um, I work on the rail yard by day, and then by night I'm an artist, and that's what I do. I guess I've always been really good, I guess, uh, at a young age, or well, at least I knew I was good. People would tell me I was good. Um, I have started drawing, really, when I was in kindergarten. Um, I always kind of knew I was, you know, above average, and I kind of just stuck with it. I started with just pencil drawings, and, and from there, as soon as I got into high school, and my brother got into uh, uh, graffiti art. And I naturally, that's, you know, I followed in his footsteps and just doing a lot of graffiti art. And that's where I kind of really honed my skills when it came to, like, colors and mixing and matching colors and stuff like that. And um, in, in the middle of high school, when I was going to McLean, that was when our teacher kind of seen the, the talent I had and kind of took me under his wing, so to speak. And it kind of showed me, I guess, a little more than he would show other students and just kind of, I guess, he got me into painting. Growing up and, and stuff uh, in, in the certain neighborhoods, um, mainly I grew up on the east side of Fresno, you know, around the Chestnut McKinley area. And, you know, kind of, I guess you can say we grew up kind of in a broken, well, pretty much it was a broken home, and, uh, to the point where, you know, I was pretty much homeless, you know, jumping from friend's house to friend's house. And so you see a lot of things that uh, teenager that you kind of typically wouldn't see if, if you were in a, in a better situation. So you kind of get certain scenes in, in your, ingrained in your mind about, you know, just like scenic things, you know, like just being out at midnight and just seeing things that, you know, you should be in, in bed, you know, I'm 10, 11 years old and I'm out, you know, seeing like crazy, crazy stuff. And, uh, but it wasn't all too bad, you know, you, you got to see a lot of cool things and, you, you pay attention to the little little details like that, and um, it does help inspire, you know, Fresno, just the, the community in general, and and Fresno is, is beautiful, you know, it's it's beautiful, and at the same time, it's rugged and and, and can get pretty ugly, yeah. pretty nasty. Certain neighborhoods you can go to, but but that's why I love it. You get a contrast of both. The person that really got me into painting a lot of Fresno stuff. Um, was my art teacher uh, from McLean. Uh, he did a series called uh, Scenes of Fresno, mm -hmm. so, but he would go around and, and snap photos of all these scenes around Fresno and you know print all these photos and just hand them out to his class and um, would have us do them. And I kind of thought that was cool because I've always felt like, you know, like if maybe if I were an artist, maybe I would do something like that. That would be pretty cool. Getting that emotion and, and making people feel what I feel and see what I see and enjoy that. Uh, that's really what I'm trying to do. Usually when I do shows, it's usually group shows. So to have my own show, I mean, there was pretty much just one artist there and that was me. And so to have people literally just come for my show to see my show and seeing a, a, a good turnout, it was like, it meant the world to me. I thought it was amazing. I mean, that was something special to me. Uh, it was uh, different, but in a good way. Anytime you show at Art Hub, you know, you always want to sell something you know you want to go out I mean that's what you what you do of you know any artist will tell you that when they paint and they they want to make a living off of it they want to sell you know they want to have some kind of you know some kind of gratification for it I mean um, so that's one of the things you, you look go for that's why you want to show that's why you want to be a part of the community I know there's just obviously the bonding with people and, and being a part of that and that's always fun is meeting new people and uh, the amount of people I've met just from from our hop is, is pretty uh, extraordinary. That's the funnest aspect of it, is uh, being part of that. And, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, the show Cheers, you know, you walk in the gallery, everyone knows your name, you know what I mean? So you kind of walk in like, oh, hey man, hey Johnny, you know, it's, it's cool, you know, be a, to be a part of something. So that's always fun. To me, is I think it's a great, great, amazing time to be an artist in Fresno and uh, just to be a part of in a way, in a certain way of the revitalization and being, you know, an artist and in that, you know, scene, it's like you're seeing everything change for the better and, and to get you really extremely excited. It's actually my goal, you know, to eventually not have to work nine to five, and, you know, just to paint strictly. And, you know, I enjoy starting from the bottom and working my way up, whether it's, you know, doing it at work or, you know, outside of work and 
you know, you learn more that way. You know, you learn the whole thing as opposed to skipping a couple of things and, and, and just starting from the top. Because that's what really made me love art was the fact that it actually helped me through a lot of those bad times. I don't know how everyone gets through depression. You know, I was depressed at one point, you know, pretty badly. You know, you don't have a home, you know, you don't have nowhere to stay. And, uh, and all you have is your art and your thoughts. So it has a special place in my heart, I guess you can say. And, and ever since then, whether I, I'm having a bad day or a good day, I know that I can do this. I will always paint, you know, because of it. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I just love it.